important event in my life was really when I was age of 12, when I decided to um, make the, uh, there was a birthday, and I, my father asked me what to buy for the birthday, and I wanted to have the oil painting. I told you that? I said, I want, you're lying. No, really not. I want to have the oil painting. And um, so he knew his friend, who was one of the partisans, who went to uh, uh, Paris and become abstract painter and formalist in that time. And he just was on vacation back from Yugoslavia, uh, to Yugoslavia, and he wanted to have um, uh, him to advise what to buy, because he didn't know anything about oil paint. So we went together with the, in the shop, and we bought boxes and boxes of all kinds of stuff, and we brought to the house. And uh, they gave me, for my birthday present, one room that's going to be my studio. So this man gave me the first lesson of the painting. So he didn't um, uh, put the canvas on the, on the kind of frame. He just cut it very I uh, irregular, you know, this just a piece of square, put on the floor. And uh, he uh, opened one can and poured the liquid glue over the, the canvas. And then he um, threw some pebbles and sand. And then he threw the yellow pigment and uh, black pigment and um, uh, some red pigment and then uh, linen oil, and some plaster, bitumen, and he poured all over the, all this gasoline, take the match and throw on the canvas, and everything explodes in the front of my eyes. And he looked at me, and he said, sunset. So, and he left. This was my first lesson. And it was so incredibly strong in my head, this, this image. And you know, I, I was a kid, I was just like standing in front of the sunset for a long time, and then, uh, I wait till the whole thing is dry for weeks, and finally when it's dry, very, uh, you know, carefully I put on the wall and I put with, uh, you know, four nails, and I look for a long time, and then I went with holidays to my, fa with my family, and we was one month away, when we come back, the sun was uh, really hitting straight into this, um, into this uh, sunset painting, so when I come back, it was just a pile of dirt lying on the floor, everything glue was, you know, uh, how you call it, the, the, from the warm, the sun melted and there just was nothing there. And this was the really important moment in my life, that I really understand that for me, the process was more important than final result. So that's the, the very important lesson I learned. Oh, God, I have all these different uh, different periods. You really wanted to know this? <laughs> the, what is the first period? The first period, it was like, I just painted dreams. This was when I really started painting with this oil painting. This was a, just my own dreams. I was thinking the dreams, the dreams was given to me, so I should not paint them. I went to totally something else. I started painting the truck accidents. And uh, I, Yugoslavia have this very big socialistic trucks that look like a person, so with strange noses coming out. And they're green and really it's funny looking. So I will always uh, find out where is the truck accident. And I would like to I'll go to police station and ask police if they can bring me to the to this uh, how you call uh, place and then uh, uh, see the truck accident make a drawing or make the photograph go back home and paint these trucks crashing together and most of the time they have big problems because they've always uh, called my father and said you know she's looking daughter is again in police station looking for the truck accidents to get to get her home so you know i didn't have much success but then, after this period of truck accidents, I start actually stealing from the ch children's sh shops the small trucks, like really tiny little trucks, and I would bring them to highways and put them on the highway and watch if the brick truck will go and smash this little child truck. But all this happened opposite. Actually, the, the big truck will go and, the, you know, and the little after he passed, the little truck will be completely perfect, you know, never will be smashed. So I start painting this strange, uh, paintings, quite big, enormous, so they always have to be kind of physically involved in this. Where actually the small, tr there was a big car, the truck accident between, between child truck and the big truck. And the big truck would be totally smashed and child truck would be completely untouched. So it was the one period. And then from there I started into getting into clouds. And there was a huge period of bodies and the clouds. And this was going on and on and on till the one point I started painting just empty sky. And the canvases became more and more empty and become just like a plain, plain, plain. And when I was studying this empty sky, I was very interested in this kind of ozone 
layers, like like a, I was was thinking that Van Gogh actually saw these particles of the air when he painted around these trees, you know, these kind of air molecules and stuff, things like that. I think that he was in the kind of state of mind that he saw this, and I was really trying to see these molecules of the air, like to paint ether, you know, like. And uh, and then in one point I was looking at the sky and something like uh, 15 military planes passed by, and they made this fantastic drawing, you know, when you can see the drawing forming and the, you know and stay in the sky for a little while and then disappearing again and then that was the crucial moment I said why I should paint anyway it's so stupid it's like you know two-dimensional and why I can't use the real material real water real sky real you know real um, fire and all and so on and then I went to the military base and asked if they can borrow me 15 uh, military planes to make uh, some drawings and I brought some design for that they call my father again and say, <laughs> get, get her out, you know, how much cost 15 aeroplanes to, to fly just to make you drunk. So I could not re do this. But from that, from that point on, I start to really get interested in, in um, doing things uh, more like a, in a project and involving the sound. So I've done lots of sound, uh, sound um, how you call that, uh, projects, till the point that I really um, get into the performance.